A new law makes it much harder for defendants to use what is called the gay panic or trans panic defense in a Colorado courtroom. The defense is based on the victim's sexual orientation or identity. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, live at the Capitol. Sean, honestly, I'd never heard of this defense tactic. Has it ever been used in Colorado? It, Jim, it is rare, but it does still happen. Statewide, there were nearly 130 criminal cases between 2014 and 2018 where the victim was targeted because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. I covered one of the first cases nationally where the gay panic defense was brought to light 22 years ago in Laramie, Wyoming. When Matthew Shepard was tortured, tied to a fence, and left to die, one of his killers argued temporary insanity, saying he lost it when Shepard made a sexual advance. It was the first time most people had ever heard of the gay panic defense. A person's sexual orientation or gender identity are never a reason to excuse somebody from committing a crime. 22 years later, Colorado has now outlawed the defense. Jason Marsden was Shepard's friend and now helps run a foundation in his name. On one level, it's kind of an insult to his memory uh, because we should have done this a long time ago. But on another level, it is progress. Marsden says Shepard's case is the most publicized, but the gay panic defense has been used in hundreds of cases. In Jefferson County, murder suspect Cody Seawick tried, but prosecutor Amanda Gall got it tossed. Whenever it happens, it's wrong. Um, American courtrooms should have cases that are heard and decided based upon facts and law, and it should be free from bias and prejudice. Gall helped draft the bill that almost didn't pass. It was killed when the session was shortened because of COVID. Senator Jack Tate brought it back. Sometimes the journey is circular and winding, but we're here today nonetheless. But if we were going to lose him uh, to the fates, um, I, I'd be hard pressed to to describe a better scenario in terms of his memory being honored. Now, Colorado is the 11th state to ban the gay or trans panic defense, and our law actually goes a step further. It bars any reference to a person's sexual orientation or gender identity in court unless a judge allows it. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. Sean,